A unique study is underway on the city's north side. Park naturalists documenting all kinds of species crossing the land bridge at Phil Harburger Park. The five-year study is evaluating wildlife use on the newly built crossing on Wurzbach Parkway. Eyewitness News reporter Sarah Doran joins us live to explain what park staff has seen so far. Hey, Sarah. Hey there, Audrey. Rabbits, deer, even bobcats have been photographed on this bridge, which is exciting for park staff, but they say patience is key when it comes to a study like this. For parks naturalists and wildlife biologist Casey Cowan. Her shift starts bright and early here at Phil Harburger Park. Typically, she walks up the trail to work on the Robert L. B. Tobin Land Bridge. But today, she is giving me a shotgun seat on the park's UTV. Her partner, Joel Kozart, riding with us up the trail. The two parks naturalists make the trip about about every 10 days to two weeks to check these cameras, part of their five year study on the land bridge to see if wildlife are using the whole bridge or if they're only using part of the bridge. Since last April, cameras have captured 13 species, taking hundreds of thousands of photos to get the right one. Eastern cottontail, gray fox, striped skunk. Even humans get caught in motion. We want to know if the bridge is actually connecting the two sides of the park for wildlife. The bridge arches over traffic on Wurzbach Parkway, connecting portions of the park from east to west. Now this bridge is the largest mixed-use wildlife crossing in the country. In the state of Texas, other crossings exist, but they're much smaller, and they're used by wildlife only and constructed below the road. These crossings are built by TxDOT. According to the state agency, there are currently 43 crossings with plans for more. They run as far north as Lubbock to down south and far Texas, with locations in between. And just like the Tobin Land Bridge. It's cutting back on wildlife vehicle collisions. Annually, 18 drivers and 7,500 wild animals die in collisions. TxDOT says these crossings improve traffic safety and preserve the state's wildlife. So the deer are getting hungry. For Cowan and Cozart, it's wildlife. They are continuing to track here at the bridge. We saw maybe an owl. So yeah, as you heard there, animals are really hard to come by out here. In fact, the only animal I saw today was that red cardinal at the beginning of that package. But they're hoping that this stuff right here, this fresh green vegetation that's growing, they're hoping that as this continues to grow, it'll encourage more animals to come out and use this bridge. For now, we're reporting on the north side, Sarah Duran, Kent's 5 Eyewitness News.